Motorbikes are DIFA's most common means of transportation, but they may disappear soon. The authorities in this Nigerian city have banned motorbikes. That's because Boko Haram fighters often use them to launch suicide bombing attacks against security forces. But the local community is worried as bikes are a main source of income for thousands of people, like Salah Shaibo, who owns a taxi bike known locally as Kaukabu. I'm now out of job. We can hardly survive. We used to earn living using our motorbikes. This the peace we are all looking for. Security is now restored and people are back to normal life. So we demand the government to lift the ban on motorbikes. Although bikes are the predominant mode of transportation in this impoverished area, the authorities say safety comes first. We have banned motorbikes in Diva, although they are widely used by residents. Our enemy, Boko Haram, are using motorbikes in their attacks. Boko Haram operatives use them to hit and run through narrow roads where cars cannot be used. Whenever any motorbike is sighted in Diva, we realize it is Boko Haram operatives and we deal with them immediately, shooting at sight. The governor is under mounting pressure to offer those affected alternatives, but that may take some time. At the city's fair, which is the most important annual exhibition of goods, not many people showed up. Absence of motorbikes had negatively impacted the exhibition as many customers could not come to the event. Many visitors were not able to come. As a result, the total economic activity in the city has slowed down. Diffa is on the Lake Chad Basin, a region where Boko Haram has gained ground. Niger has been active in the regional push to defeat the armed group. As regional armies are involved in the battle against Boko Haram, civilians who live in border areas fear revenge attacks. Hashim al-Barra al-Jazeera.